Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here. Today we are testing a brand new drugstore foundation. This one is from Revlon and it's the Photo Ready Candid Glow Foundation. This is sold for $10.99. I'll show you a photo of the shade range right here. It looks like the majority of the shades are very medium, which makes sense. I think most people probably fall in the medium category. It also bodes well for my very fair friends that I am not the lightest shade. I'm using the shade 240 Natural Beige and that's not the lightest shade in the range. So there's probably some pretty decent fairer shades. I don't have the entire line so I can't tell you what these really look like in person and how well distributed the shades are. Hopefully the whole range is a good spectrum but I can't say for sure. I wanted to take a moment here to dive a little deeper into the shade range. What you're seeing here are the original Candid Foundation on the left and then the Candid Glow on the right. And you can see there are almost double the amount of shades in the original Candid Foundation. I haven't tried the original Photo Ready Candid, so I can't really speak about the formulation of that one compared to the Candid Glow but I have no idea why they would do this sister line or expansion of this Photo Ready Candid line and not offer as many shades. This does kind of seem like a misstep or a missed opportunity, but I did want to mention that since I think there will be some confusion between the two different Candid foundations, and this Candid Glow one just really is not offering enough shades, in my humble opinion. This foundation is 0.75 fluid ounces, so it is a little bit less than the norm. Typically, we get one fluid ounce in our foundations. For the price point, I'm surprised that this isn't the full fluid ounce. At least it's pretty close, but I do think this is pretty expensive for not a full fluid ounce at the drugstore. The packaging itself is really nice. This is a clear window so you can see the shade. The little cap pops off. And this is a squeezy tube style, but it has a pump. That's basically my favorite kind of foundation packaging. I like the pump packaging because it's less messy and less, you know, wasted and spills. But the squeezy tube packaging is nice because it's lightweight. It's not likely to break. So if you're going to be throwing this in a makeup bag or traveling or whatever it may be, then I do like this squeezy tube type packaging. According to the information online, this is supposed to be a natural skin-like finish and it claims to be a medium coverage that's buildable. I don't entirely agree with that. You'll see in the demo what I'm talking about when I say that. So let's jump into that demo. I'll show you me applying two layers of this foundation. I'll also do a wear test check-in so that we can see how this wears throughout the day. And then I'll wrap up all my final thoughts on this at the end. I like to start off my foundation videos with a close-up of just my bare skin, just clean and moisturized, nothing on there. This is where we are starting. Now I'm going to apply the Photo Ready Candid Glow Foundation in the shade 240. I'm just doing one pump and using my fingers to apply that all over my face. Then I'm going to blend it in using my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. I'm really buffing this into the skin. I've kind of recently rediscovered my love of using a foundation brush and this one in particular. It's just really quick and easy. So here's a close-up of my skin with just one layer of the Candid Glow Foundation. This is no color correction, no concealer, of course, just one quick layer of this foundation. I think it looks pretty good. It definitely looks really natural, although I wouldn't say this is a medium coverage by any means. So we're going to try to build it up. I'm doing one more pump Again, just applying that all over my face with my fingertips. And this time when I blend this in, I don't want to use the brush. I'm going to go for a damp sponge. This is the L'Oreal sponge. I find that when I'm layering, especially cream products like foundation, 
I like to do a second layer with the sponge so that I don't disrupt that first layer. Here's a close up of what two layers of the Candid Glow Foundation looks like on my skin. We did build up a little bit more coverage, but I do want to note here that we didn't sacrifice any of that natural finish. It definitely still looks very much like skin. Although again, I don't really think this is super medium coverage. Here's a side by side of my bare skin and the two layers of foundation. So you can kind of compare where that coverage level is. So I'm checking in now after having been wearing this foundation for about six hours. You can see I finished up my makeup. I did put on some concealer and I powdered my concealer, but I didn't powder the rest of my face. So let's take a close up look here. It does look very skin like. And you can still see my little like freckles and stuff through the foundation. So you can tell this is definitely not a medium buildable. I would say it's light buildable because this is two layers and you can still see a lot through the foundation. Overall, it looks pretty good. I would say it looks a little bit dry right here between my brows, which is a normal place where I'll get really dry and it has kind of bunched up in these lovely forehead wrinkles of mine. It happens. I do think that it looks particularly dry on my chin, like this area here, which I'm surprised by. Since the name is Candid Glow, I didn't expect to have any dryness. Overall, it looks good. You can really only see those dry patches when you get really, really close up. So. That's what it looks like. After wearing this all day, I do think that it looks pretty good. It's definitely not as glowy as I expected. With a name like Candid Glow, I really thought that I was gonna be getting some dewy, some moisturizing type of finish here. It does say that it's skincare inspired foundation. It does feel quite moisturizing and creamy when you first apply it but I found that throughout the day, it got a lot more matte than I expected. Now this isn't a totally matte foundation. You saw from the close up, it is a very natural finish. It does look like skin. It's more of a satiny finish in my opinion. Mainly the name threw me off there. I was just expecting to look a little more radiant, a little bit more dewy than I ended up looking. It says that it's a medium coverage. I think you could probably build it up to a medium coverage, but even with two layers on my skin, I feel like it's really on the lighter end of that medium coverage. It did do a lot of evening out, but I think this is more like a light buildable coverage and not a medium buildable. Now I'm not mad about that because I prefer a lighter coverage, but if that's what it is, they should just say that it's light buildable. You know, you know what I'm saying? One good thing I'll say about the fact that this isn't as radiant as I thought it was going to be, I could see this working for a lot of skin types. For sure, normal skin or combo skin could wear this. I think even if you have oily skin, this might be worth a shot for you because this just really isn't that glowy. It didn't break up on me at all. In fact, it got like more dry throughout the day. I know that doesn't sound good, but <laughs> if you have combo or oily skin, that probably does sound good. I would wear this again, but I would probably pair this with a really dewy, luminous primer underneath, something like strobe cream from MAC or the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Something like that is probably what I would pair with this foundation because I like it. I just don't love it. I wanted a little bit more glow, but overall pretty good, pretty impressed. It did wear nicely. And I think as long as you're not with an HD camera up in my face, I think it looks really, really good and really natural. So yeah, pretty impressed, not over the moon, but not unhappy either. So that's it. Now's the time when I wanna hear what you think about this foundation. Is this on your radar? Is this something that you're interested in? I always love to hear what you guys think about things too, so make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Amanda here, and today we are testing a jig. This foundation does not contain an entire... It says that it's a meridium. 
Man. What? Uh -uh. You, me. Are we on the same page? Yes? No? I don't know. Okay. Keep getting distracted by this really foily eyeshadow. <laughs> Story of my life. Or some Max Scrobe Cream. Max Scrobe Cream. New product. I feel like every one of my reviews, I'm like, it's okay, but it's whatever. <laughs> uh, you can't handle the truth. Okay, I'm fine now. I wish this had some SPF or something in it. Oh well. Can't win them all. Ooh, mama. Ooh, mama. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.